Welcome to the Monday, April 30th, 2012 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Erner Berry's Fully Laminated Seafood Wall Chart Series. Today, we take a look at our HRI Movers of the Week report, and later, our latest analysis of the egg market has revealed a surprising post-Easter adjustment. Now, here's your host, Jamie Chadwick. Erner Berry commenced its 36th annual executive conference last night at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. Nearly 400 guests from the egg, poultry and red meat industry have gathered for the two-day event with a full schedule of forums and panel discussions. With this year's theme, Strategies for the Future, guests are given a unique opportunity to network with other industry colleagues and discuss innovative ways the industry is doing business while also discovering new methods on how to improve their own businesses. Today, attendees will attend presentations by motivational speaker Rick Rigsby and Wall Street Journal economics writer Stephen Moore. Guests will then work on their swing at the annual golf outing at Dragon Ridge Golf Course, and the day will conclude with an awards dinner, while Erner Berry will honor the Egg Person of the Year and the Poultry Person of the Year. Tune in tomorrow where we'll check back to the conference and give a rundown of Tuesday's itinerary, as well as reveal the honorees for the Egg and Poultry People of the Year awards. For a more detailed look at the 2012 Executive Conference itinerary, please visit www.earnerberry.com slash executive. Now market reporter Russ Barton takes a look at Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, which is a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions for the week of April 24th through April 30th. In the beef market, choice bone-in strip loins, along with many items from the loin, have seen a strong improvement in value recently. The warmer weather and the discount of the loin to the rib have been price supportive, resulting in an almost 9% increase of the bone-in strip week over week. Our next item in the green last week came from the pork market. Ground pork and pork trimmings found support last week as production was reduced and an improvement in summer grilling demand was seen. Although minor, this uptick in value was a sight for sore eyes following several months of steadily declining trim prices due to a combination of export shortfalls and detrimental red meat headlines. Moving over to the egg complex, the shell egg market surprisingly continues to adjust to post-Easter conditions this week. Prices are now at levels where attractively priced features should be present, but current promotional activity is disappointing overall. Inventories of large are the most troublesome and several sellers are discounting their offerings. Our quotations are down 3.85% as a result since our last report as prices look for a floor. Finally, in the seafood market, January saw record monthly import levels surpassing 45 million pounds, resulting in ample inventories. Poor demand during Lent and post-Lent resulted in product holders having to lower asking prices on the spot market in order to generate buying interest. The undertone continues to be soft moving forward. Thanks for us to wrap up today's video. Egg market reporter Brian Moscageri reports on what has caused an uncharacteristic drop in egg prices. The shell egg market surprised most last week as post-Easter adjustments continued. Many thought prices had reached the floor, but with lagging retail demand, supplies of large became increasingly available. Feature activity has been lacking throughout the country, with only a few major chains promoting eggs at attractively priced levels. Orders are described as disappointing, even for this time of year. Large is the main concern, as those without a steady stream of customers force product for sale, discounting their offerings to move supplies before inventories become burdensome. Jumbos are in the best balance at the moment due to seasonal flock rotations, but without a boost in retail interest, it may be hard to manage the other size categories without low priced ads. Inventories were 9% over the same week last year in relationship to Easter, and it will be interesting to see what this week's USDA inventory report says about supply situations moving forward. The market is testing, and most hope these price points will create movement needed to steady the market going forward. Thanks, Brian. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Today's video is sponsored by Erner Berry Seafood Wall Chart Series. These fully laminated wall charts focus on the U.S. market and emphasize the most common commercial Gulf of Mexico, East Coast fish and shellfish, and sport fish. Please visit shop.ernerberry.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your posters today.